guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Donghua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Since they were all sitting in meditation positions, and the room wasn't that large, the girls sat on their beds, while the boys sat on the floor. They all trained together in Long Haochen's quiet room. Shima Xian and Han Yu sat on either side of Long Haochen, benefiting from the strong aura of light around him. Chai Er and Wan Yuan Yuan had gained insights during their previous entry into the Tower of Eternity. So they immediately started their own training. Chen Yin Er, aware that. She was currently the weakest in the team, focused on improving her spiritual energy. Over the next few hours, Long Haochen made attempts to enter the Tower of Eternity every half hour. After six hours had passed since they left the Tower of Eternity. The eternal melody once again gave him the sensation of being able to establish contact. The teleportation was instantaneous, and Long Haochen and his companions found themselves outside the Tower of Eternity once more. The Tower of Eternity appeared unchanged from their previous entry. Everything was as it had been. Long Haochen thought for a moment, and said, It seems we can enter once every six hours, which means we can enter twice a day. This time frame should be manageable. It also seems that we can only enter after six hours have passed since our last entry. So, after this trial is over, you all can stay here, and I'll try to teleport out by myself to see if it works. The subsequent attempt was much smoother than the previous one, and Han Yu had some good news today as well. During their training in the past few hours, his evil eye had completed its evolution. This means that, they no longer need to worry about the issue of the true eye. The evolved evil eye now has six tentacles, and its overall size has increased by nearly double. Judging from the spiritual energy fluctuations emanating from it, it has clearly reached the level of a seventh rank magical beast, which is equivalent to a sixth-rank powerhouse. Furthermore, it is a sixth-rank magical beast specialized in mental attacks. With the addition of the evil eye, along with their previous experience, they found the first three trials much easier to complete than before. The first trial was naturally effortless, with Long Haochen deliberately controlling it, and the obtained spiritual energy orbs were given to Chai Er and Wan Yuan Yuan respectively. Chin Yin Er also attempted to summon Gate of Life, with results that were either good, nor bad, summoning a wind-type cunning leopard. It's a fifth-rank magical beast. It's not very powerful, but when it comes to delivering the final blow, it's capable. They found the second trial. The resentful spirit assassins, extremely easy to deal with this time. The evolved evil eye demonstrated its immense power, revealing the forms of two resentful spirit assassins with the true eye, followed by a wave of group mental shock. This left the two resentful spirit assassins briefly stunned. Although it was only for about two seconds, it was enough for the ever-watchful commander level number 21 demon hunting squad. Everyone prioritized the benefits of this encounter for Chin Yin Air. And the cunning leopard delivered the final blow, leaving Chin Yin Air in high spirits as she obtained two spiritual energy orbs. The third trial that followed was also made much simpler by the presence of the evil eye. It cast a spell called Mental Disturbance. The effect of this mental type magic is quite simple. When hit by it, the speed of casting skills is reduced by half. Although the two skeletal knights were powerful, as long as they couldn't unleash terrifying attacks like Azure Thorn, they were relatively easy to deal with. The rewards of this trial went to Wan Yuan Yuan and Shima Xian. Lin Xin's offensive magic was limited to the fire curse spell. So Long Haochen had him stay at the rear during this battle. They managed to pass the first three trials with relatively low energy consumption, and now it was time to see what awaited them in the fourth trial. Everyone, prepare yourselves. Han Yu, keep your evil eye continuously activated as the true eye. Long Haochen, wielding his sword and shield, led his companions forward at a steady pace. Six beams of white light appeared almost simultaneously within their field of vision, and then six robust skeletons materialized within the white light. But that wasn't all. Simultaneously, there were also four resentful spirit assassins. Fortunately, the true eye was activated, otherwise, with the six frontline skeletal warriors as a distraction. The resentful spirit assassins behind could have posed a significant threat. The number of enemies had suddenly increased to ten, which truly surprised Long Haochen. These were all sixth-rank opponents and they all possessed the attack power of the sixth rank. Four beams of white light simultaneously shot forth from Long Haochen's chest as he took a step forward, his right foot firmly planted on the ground, emitting a resounding thud. One must not underestimate this step, simply. Taking this step forward, Long Haochen's aura soared to its peak, and the thunderous impact of his step immediately focused the spirits of all his companions. The four beams of white light shot from his chest almost simultaneously found their way to the four resentful spirit assassins. Meaning that, Long Haochen had single-handedly drawn the four agile and elusive resentful spirit assassins towards himself, relieving his companions of the rear threat. Han Yu, mental disturbance, mental shock. With a loud command, Long Haochen charged directly at the six skeletal warriors across from him. 
At that moment, he could be said to have placed himself in a perilous situation. At that very moment, a dense red light surpassed Long Houchen's body, and a massive flaming skull passed directly over the heads of the six skeletal warriors, then plummeted behind them. It must be said, although Lin Sin couldn't use any offensive magic himself, his control over magic could be described as masterful. Under his precise control, this fire curse spell almost landed directly on the six charging skeletal warriors, and at the same time, the four resentful spirit assassins charged forward due to Long Houchen's holy guiding spirit furnace, placing them directly behind the skeletal warriors. In other words, Lin Sin's fire curse spell landed precisely between the skeletal warriors and the resentful spirit assassins. It could be described as hitting the central junction among these ten enemies. It was also at this moment that the evil eye's first magic took effect, mental disturbance. Under the influence of mental disturbance, the golden light shining on the skeletal warriors became somewhat disoriented, and the resentful spirit assassins were even more greatly affected, their originally rapid speed dropping sharply. The explosion of the fire curse spell erupted instantaneously, and a surprising scene unfolded. The four resentful spirit assassins drawn in by Long Houchen's holy guiding spirit furnace were instantly reduced to ashes by the fire curse spell, and their remnants were collected into four beams of white light. Instant kill. Furthermore, the six charging skeletal warriors were also staggered by the intense explosion, and at the same time, the mental shock spell was unleashed, rendering the attacks of these six skeletons unable to maintain their normal state. All of them were plunged into chaos. At this moment, Long Houchen arrived. He unleashed a combination of attacks. Twin Dragons of Light Rain, Solar Strike, Ascending Dragon Strike. Executing a three-strike combo seamlessly. Two of the skeletal warriors fell successively. It wasn't just him in action, Han Yu also cast Azure Thorn for the first time and sent it toward one of the skeletal warriors. And the result was as expected, the skeletal warrior's body shattered instantly under the intense impact. The Power Pill of Light and the Shield of Giant God each targeted an opponent as well. Skeletal warriors in their normal state were difficult to defeat with a single blow, but with the magic attacks from Lin Sin and the Evil Eye, it was a different story. The two skeletal warriors couldn't effectively attack or defend, and they shattered instantly. The last skeletal warrior met its end beneath Chai Air's dark golden dagger, which pierced through the back of its skull, directly crushing its soul's flame. The battle ended faster than anyone could have imagined. These were ten enemies. After all, everyone looked at each other, and Chen Yin Air couldn't help but say, Is this, is this really something we can do? Lin Sin suddenly obtained four soul light orbs, and said with great pride, Of course, we did it. Haven't you seen my precise fire curse spell? No one disputed his words, because what he said was entirely true. If it weren't for that fireball spell causing injuries to the skeletal warriors, and instantly killing four resentful spirits, winning wouldn't have been so easy for them. Lin Sin gained the most in this battle, but his role was also the most significant. Long Houchen, after a brief surprise, had already recovered his composure, and waved his arm vigorously. That's right, this is the coordination we should have. Well done, Lin Sin. But Lin Sin sighed lightly and said, now I understand more and more why my father was so dedicated to offensive magic. A powerful mage can play a decisive role in battle. But I made a vow back then, never to learn offensive magic in my lifetime. I'm sorry, comrades I. Shima Xian happened to be beside him, holding his power pill of light in one hand, and wrapping his other arm around Lin Sin's shoulder. All right, all right, brother medicinal pills, why are you being so sentimental? If you can't learn offensive magic, then get some equipment that can enhance your attack skills. You understand the concept of adaptation, don't you? Lin Sin's eyes lit. Up. Hey, so it turns out you, the guy with muscles all over your head, aren't so dumb after all, your sister. Shima Xian raised his power pill of light, and threatened. Do you want to try a metal ball against your flesh ball? Lin Sin smirked and said. Don't you say that, I actually have a sister, who can butter me up nicely, and I'll introduce you to her later. This time, it was Shima Xian's turn to light up, although he always thought Lin Sin was a bit narcissistic and sleazy, but his looks were good, and his sister couldn't be too ugly. Right? Suddenly, his anger turned into affection. Watching these two jesters, Long Houchen chuckled and said, Should we continue moving forward? Almost everyone shook their heads simultaneously. Even though they had won the previous battle quite smoothly, there had been an element of luck involved. The fourth level had already been guarded by ten sixth-ranked experts. What if the next level had ten skeletal knights using Azura Thorn together? Besides, they had varying degrees of exhaustion, and at least Lin Sin couldn't cast another fire curse spell. Furthermore, they had already cleared four levels in a row, and everyone had gained something. They had entered the Tower of Eternity twice today, and just from the Soul Light Orbs, their spiritual power had increased more than their usual training. Not to mention that they had also trained themselves. Captain, is Azura Strike the skill you used? Wan Yuan Yuan suddenly asked. Long Houchen nodded and said, Yes, it is. Wan Yuan Yuan smiled. This skill suits me better than Azura Thorn. One of those skeletons just gave me one. I'll go back and practice it. 
With the power pill of light, Shima Xian's attack power exceeded hers, so Wan Yuan Yuan was motivated to improve herself. Wan Yuan Yuan was always competitive, and had been holding back her strength. This time, she had obtained Azura Strike, which complemented her shield of giant god perfectly. Long, Chen said. Here's the plan. This time, let Chai Er stay here alone for an experiment, and the rest of you come back with me. Chai Er can recover her spiritual power here as well, but the rest of you can't. Although he didn't want to leave Chai Er behind, he understood that the team's needs came first, and Chai Er had once again made it clear earlier that the death aura here was beneficial for her training, and it even gave her some new insights into the reincarnation spirit furnace. He left Chai Er in a spot not far from the tower entrance, and then activated the eternal melody for teleportation. Back in Long Haochen's quiet room, the others went back to their rooms to train. It turned out that Long Haochen's plan was feasible. Leaving someone in the Tower of Eternity was possible. However, he didn't give up on trying to teleport, and still attempted it every half an hour. Chai Er stayed there, and he couldn't help but feel uneasy. It wasn't until six hours later that he felt the ability to teleport and gathered his companions around him. He rushed back to Chai Er. Chai Er was fine, still training in her original spot, and Long Haochen brought food and water for her, feeding her first and then the group rested for a while, before embarking on their new challenge. However, another change occurred. The tests from the first three levels had disappeared. Just when they thought the tests hadn't reappeared because Chai Er hadn't left with them, the six skeletal warriors and four resentful spirit assassins from the fourth level reappeared. They were unprepared and found themselves in a scramble, using all their abilities. They managed to barely defeat ten enemies. However, they no longer had the possibility to challenge the fifth level. The Tower of Eternity seemed to always be an unknown, and even now, they hadn't discovered its true pattern. With no other options, they returned to the real world to continue their training. Long Haochen made an agreement with everyone to gather again in six hours and attempt teleportation directly. During this time, Long Haochen went to see his mentor, Han Qian, and learned the basic skills of a sixth-ranked guardian knight. The Tower of Eternity was the perfect place for him to gain experience. Over the next few days, they entered the Tower of Eternity twice a day. As time passed, they gradually began to discern some patterns. The disappearance of the tests from the first three levels wasn't because of Chai Er staying behind initially, but because they had passed the test of the fourth level. Since then, the tests from the first three levels never appeared again. After several attempts, they finally encountered the guardian of the fifth level. It consisted of five skeleton knights and five vengeful spirit assassins. After passing the fourth level, they faced the challenge of the fifth. The pressure they faced was quite significant, although the seventh level evil eye prevented the skeleton knights from unleashing their terrifying spectral strikes. These undead creatures were still extremely formidable. Fortunately, Lin Sen consumed a large returning spiritual pill at a critical moment, allowing him to cast fire magic once more, which helped restrain the vengeful spirits, enabling them to pass the fifth level. However, it was evident that they weren't yet ready to face the challenges of the sixth level, because upon entering this place, they still had to start from the fourth level. So, every day, they went through trials in the fourth and fifth levels. Of course, they also tried different ways of fighting as much as possible, and evenly distributed the spiritual energy orbs, faced with the pressure from the undead creatures. The cooperation among the team became more and more seamless, and, most importantly, even when all seven of them improved together, each person could still gain nearly 60 units of spiritual energy every day. Ten days later, Chai Er, Lin Sin, Han Yu, and Wang Yuan Yuan successively reached the bottleneck of four. Zero, zero, zero spiritual energy. Even Shima Xian and Chen Yin Er exceeded 3,600. After reaching the bottleneck, Absorbing spiritual energy orbs would only be a waste. Therefore, Shima Xian and Qin Yin Er naturally became the focus of care. On the first floor of the Tower of Eternity, the fourth and fifth levels could provide 20 spiritual energy orbs each day, which means they could each increase their spiritual energy by 200 units every day. Two days later, when Shima Xian and Qin Yin Er also reached the bottleneck of the fourth level, everyone felt like they were in a dream. Before coming here, who would have thought they could reach the peak of the fifth level so quickly? As long as they made another breakthrough, they would all become sixth-level powerhouses. Now, except for Long Haochen, everyone else's spiritual energy had reached a bottleneck, and when they entered Tower of Eternity to battle, the spiritual energy orbs naturally all belonged to Long Haochen. However, Long Haochen soon delivered some unfortunate news to everyone, the spiritual light crystals had become ineffective. This happened after Long Haochen's spiritual energy broke through. 5000. The spiritual energy orbs were completely ineffective for him, and he had absorbed several of them but they no longer had any effect on his advancement. This situation left the members of Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad feeling somewhat at a loss. They were accustomed to rapid improvement, and suddenly, it felt like they had regressed overnight, which was an uncomfortable feeling. How could this happen? Could it be that spiritual energy can only be increased to 5,000? Lin. Sin asked urgently. Long Haochen remained silent, lost in thought. 
After a while, Long Haochen spoke in a deep voice. This may be a limitation of the Tower of Eternity. After all, our current rate of cultivation is incredibly fast. If we continue to cultivate at this rate, within a year, we might have a chance to reach the seventh level. Let's prepare to try the sixth level. If the spiritual energy orbs from the sixth level still can't help me advance, it means that, at least on the first floor of the Tower of Eternity, the limit for spiritual energy increases 5,000. When Long Haochen mentioned the first floor, the anxious expressions of the team members calmed down a bit. After all, they were still on the first floor. Tower of Eternity has a total of seven floors. Who's to say that the upper levels can't provide them with something similar to spiritual energy orbs? Han Yu sighed and said, We should be content. How many can achieve the peak of the fifth level at such a speed? After breaking through to the sixth level, we'll have spiritual openings, and our cultivation speed will naturally increase. Training here being too easy might not be good for us. Wan Yuan Yuan nodded and said, Han Yu makes a valid point. If everything comes too easily, it means it's not solid. I suspect it's because our spiritual energy is increasing so rapidly that breaking through to the sixth level might be challenging. Long Haochen suddenly smiled and said, That's not necessarily true. To break through a bottleneck, you need sufficient pressure. And in the Tower of Eternity, what we lack the least is pressure. Let's continue challenging the sixth level. Now, except for him, the others have reached the peak of the fifth level, and the energy consumption in passing the fourth and fifth levels has decreased significantly for them. What challenges await them in the sixth level? According to the current distance, the first floor probably has nine or ten levels, and each level becomes increasingly difficult. Will the pressure be less? Even if they can't increase their spiritual energy here, they can still experience enough pressure here. With the soul-linking ability to share life, even if they are killed while training here, Long Haochen is confident that he can preserve everyone's lives in a gradual manner. To break through bottlenecks, the greater the pressure, the better. Didn't Long Haochen break through under the pressure of an 8th rank moon demon not long ago, with their formation set up? They continued forward under Long Haochen's leadership. They were about to face the challenge of the 6th level for the first time. This time, they walked 10 steps before something suddenly changed. There was a sudden change ahead. A white light descended from the sky. Unlike the undead creatures that had appeared with a flash of light, this white light formed a column that stood still. At the top of the column of light, a red light quietly appeared, and below that, a skeleton warrior they had encountered before appeared. The red light was none other than a vengeful spirit, a red vengeful spirit, and this was the first time Long Haochen and the others had seen such a creature. The red vengeful spirit descended slowly, moving toward the skeleton. Warrior Long Haochen cautiously released a light sword, but the blade of light vanished when it touched the white column of light. This meant that, it was impossible to prevent the contact between the red vengeful spirit and the white skeleton. Upon closer inspection, Long Haochen noticed that, although this vengeful spirit that descended from the sky was similar in size to other vengeful spirits, it had a much more solid appearance. While the bodies of different vengeful spirits appeared transparent, this one had a texture that was almost substantial, making it look more like a real energy entity. He didn't even need to activate the imprints in his mind. The name of this vengeful spirit appeared in his consciousness. Strong Soul only those with exceptional talents in life can vengeful spirits retain their original attributes after death, and if they become true undead creatures, they are even more powerful than the mindless undead. Everyone be careful, that red vengeful spirit is the strong soul, it likely not only has combat instincts, but also some combat skills, and it's of the fire element. Lin Sin, don't use fire magic. Focus on helping everyone with defense. Magic of the same element. Has the ability to reduce damage during defense, but in terms of offense, it will naturally be weakened. Just as Long Haochen was speaking, the red strong soul had already merged with the skeleton warrior below. The originally lifeless skeleton warrior slowly lifted its head, and two intense red lights gleamed in its eyes, then its body suddenly turned fiery red, its bones rapidly grew with a creaking sound that was grating to the ears. In just the blink of an eye, it had grown by a meter, becoming a massive skeleton warrior standing at three meters tall. Its bone knife and shield and hand also turned dazzlingly red, all over its body. Flames were surging. Its aura was overwhelming, far surpassing any opponent Long Haochen and the others had faced before. Though it was also of the sixth rank, the feeling it gave Long Haochen and the others was completely different. The white column of light disappeared silently, and a roar that sounded like a triumphant bellow erupted from the red skeleton's mouth. It didn't charge forward swiftly, but its eyes, gleaming with red flames, were fixed on Long Haochen and his team. In the fiery flicker of its eyes, Long Haochen was astonished to see intelligence. This skeleton warrior wasn't just conscious. Could it actually possess wisdom? Undead magic truly is full of mysteries. The red skeleton took a step forward, holding its bone knife, slowly approaching Long Haochen and his team. Although its speed wasn't fast, every step felt solid and steady. Blue rain, light lotus blossomed, and Long Haochen's eyes gleamed brightly, taking large strides to meet the red skeleton. His movements were not fast either, but they followed his own rhythm. 
At the same time, the three aura enhancing skills for his companions also activated. The red skeleton's eyes flashed. And the distance between it and Long. Houchen wasn't great to begin with, but it quickly closed the gap, and they were now within five meters of each other. The red skeleton suddenly took a big step forward, and a scorching aura washed over them. Long Houchen took a slight step back, raising his brilliant holy shield. Just at that moment, the red skeleton's bone knife swung down. A shocking scene unfolded. All the flames on the red skeleton's body condensed onto its bone knife in an instant, and the tip of the bone knife unleashed a crystalline red blade that seemed solid. The scorching air around Long Houchen's body caused the air to distort, and a powerful compressive force suddenly appeared. Azura Strike, more accurately. It should be Flame Azura Strike. The red skeleton's attack wasn't sudden, but it gave off a sense as if it contained a profound truth. Azura Strike was a skill that Long Houchen also knew, but he realized that, compared to this red skeleton, he was clearly less proficient in using the skill. The red skeleton's seemingly straightforward strike was as if it had been refined over a thousand times. Brilliant Holy Shield and Divine Guard Block. Both shield arts emerged from the shield simultaneously. One was a skill. Inherent to the shield, and the other was the sixth rank basic skill Long Houchen had just learned. A tremendous shockwave sent Long Houchen stumbling back several steps, and just at that moment, the red skeleton actually disappeared from in front of him. It was a purely instinctual reaction. Long Houchen suddenly turned to the side, and with blue rain, light lotus in his hand, he executed another azura strike. Another roar resounded, and what astonished Long Houchen was that, the bone knife in the red skeleton's hand still bore the three-foot-long crystalline red blade from the previous azura strike. A persistent azura strike, in the next moment, without being able to use. Divine guard block in time, he was sent flying. His arms felt numb, and he had a sensation that he couldn't lift them. However, as he was sent flying, Long Houchen also saw a series of actions that the red skeleton took next. It moved like flowing water with perfect fluidity. After sending Long Houchen flying with a single strike, it didn't pursue him further, because the attacks from the other members of Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad had arrived. The red skeleton suddenly made a forward-leaning motion. Despite being three meters tall, it appeared remarkably agile. Wan Yuan Yuan's shield of giant god's spinning shield strike missed as it flew over the top of the red skeleton's head, failing to hit its target. At the same time as the forward motion, the red skeleton abruptly twisted its body, and with its bone knife in hand, it made a nimble diagonal slash through the air, striking the side of Shima Sien's power pill of light, and in that moment, its entire body suddenly accelerated. It moved so close to the massive power pill of light that it almost seemed to slide past it, but in just that one step, it had reached the center of Wan Yuan Yuan and Shima Sien. At that moment, Long Houchen felt as if his blood was freezing in his veins, and the holy guiding spirit furnace's white light suddenly burst forth, shooting towards the red skeleton, attempting to redirect its attack toward himself. However, his normally infallible holy guiding spirit furnace failed this time. The red skeleton seemed to have eyes on the back of its head, and in a flicker, it split into two in an instant, and the one hit by the holy guiding spirit furnace turned into an illusion, while its real body was already behind Shima Sien. This is bad, was the only thought in Long Houchen's mind. He never expected that. A red skeleton with a strong soul could be this powerful. Everyone was taking action. Long Houchen could see the danger Shima Sien was in, and the same went for Lin Sin, Chen Yin Er, and Han Yu behind him. However, none of them could stop the red skeleton's next attack. Suddenly, a burst of red-golden light enveloped the red skeleton, and it seemed to be immune to the evil eye's mental assault. Han Yu's sudden advance was too late, and Lin Sin could only hastily cast an elemental fire shield on Shima Sien. As for Chen Yin Er, she couldn't do anything at all. This time, entering the Tower of Eternity, the magical beasts she summoned were very weak, and some had already perished before. And it was obviously too late to feed McDowell with magic crystals at this moment. All of this may sound slow when described, but it all happened in the blink of an eye. Just as the red skeleton arrived behind Shima Sien, it had already swung its bone knife. It seemed that every action it took was in preparation for the next one, without a wasted movement. Shima Sien was still retracting his power pill of light, and he didn't even attempt to dodge. He had confidence in Long Houchen's holy guiding spirit furnace. And he saw the white light descending onto the red. Skeleton. Shima! Long Houchen shouted in desperation. Long Houchen thought it was over. His mind went blank. Given the strength of the red skeleton, there was no way Shima Sien could survive this strike. But in the next moment, his eyes widened. Did Shima Sien die? No, in the instant when the red skeleton's bone knife slashed at his neck, it suddenly paused and Shima Sien felt a sudden heat at the back of his neck. The next moment, the red skeleton's bone knife turned flat, and it directly struck his back, sending him flying. A golden light simultaneously flashed on Long Houchen and his team. They all felt a pain in their backs. At this moment, Long Houchen finally rushed back. He forcibly infused his arms with spiritual energy, and activated. Blue Rain, Light Lotus Twin Dragons of Light Rain, 
However, the red skeleton still paid no attention to him, abruptly taking a large step to the side, and actually stepped out of the coverage of the twin dragons of light rain. The attack power and coverage of light rain hibiscus thrusts were quite formidable, but it had one flaw, and that was its attack range. Although blue rain, light lotus could emit a spiritual energy radiance, its attack range was limited to about 20 feet. However, with a single step, the red skeleton easily moved beyond that range, when Long Haochen activated his holy guiding spirit furnace once more. The red skeleton, its body shining with a crimson golden light, flickered once more, and still, using its illusionary shadow, it evaded Long Haochen's holy guiding spirit furnace. What shocked Long Haochen even more was that, he had consecutively released holy guiding spirit furnace four times, and each time was separated by only a moment. However, the red skeleton's actual body swiftly dodged several times beside its illusionary image, and in the end, the power of Long Haochen's holy guiding spirit furnace struck only the illusion. Next was the red skeleton's time to perform. With astonishing skill and the formidable attack power of its bone knife, it didn't even need to use a shield. In just over 10 seconds, it successively sent all of them flying. Even with equipment as powerful as the soul link chains, the continuous attacks left Long Haochen and his team in unbearable pain. It was an absolute massacre. Even Long Haochen himself could only hold on for five seconds against this red skeleton. He was struck in the chest by a single knife slash, sending him and Chai Er flying together. Chai Er also tried to counterattack, but her swift attacks were met by the Red Skeleton's Bone Knife. It seemed that the Red Skeleton wasn't particularly fast, yet none of Chai Er's attacks had any effect on it, as if it could predict any technique. In the end, it struck her back with a single slash, sending her flying. The rest of the team lay on the ground, and the Soul Link Chains could only share their injuries, but not their pain. Everyone had been slashed in the back, and the intense heat and sharp pain made it feel like their backs no longer belonged to them. The intense burning sensation left them gasping for breath. However, once they were all on the ground, the red skeleton didn't continue its attacks. It just silently shook its head at them, then turned and walked away. 